Hello viewers, how are you all doing? My name remains Noel Akam Jr. You see, they say truth is bitter, but it is better said. The moment Dr. Abel Damina begins to give thorough teaching about the position of God concerning tithe, all the prosperity pastors came after him. What has the man done? It's because he's trying to open a lot of Christians' eyes to reality. And a lot of pastors are not comfortable with that. That is why you see today, internet, everywhere, Dr. Eben, Damina, Dr. Eben, what has the man done? To me, the man is only doing his job as a man, a genuine man of God that he is. Because Bible made us to understand that that the devil would disguise himself to a point where even the elite will nearly be fooled. Do you know what that means? Even those that claim to be educated, smart, the way devil will disguise, disguise himself, the way devil will disguise himself, either in the form of pastor, in the form of mothers, in the form of, they can come in any form just to make sure that they take or sway away the children of God for them to lose track. And if you look carefully, you will understand that that is exactly what is going on now. All this cry against Abel Damina, Dr. Abel Damina, is just because the man has started to tell a lot of Christians the truth. And it turns out that people are beginning to be more wiser. And a lot of prosperity pastors are not comfortable with that. Now, let us get something straight. Have you asked yourself as a Christian for what purpose tithe was established in the scripture? You know, when you do not know the value of something or the use of something, abuse becomes inevitable. So many men of God have refused to come to terms with original intent of God concerning tithe and the use of it. The first time tithe was mentioned in the Bible was in Genesis chapter 14, 14 verse 20. Abraham paid tithe to Melchizedek even though Abraham was not under any law to do so. If you look at it carefully, you will understand that God himself could have been the first teacher of tithe. So many men of God have continued to fool their members to believe that if they do not pay tithe, they will either go to hellfire or remain poor for life. That is a lie from the pit of hell. You see, God has given us a level playing ground to succeed together. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to be paying tight for you to be rich. It's a lie. Just go and learn how to make money. Elon Musk is back to being the richest man on the planet, even after spending 44 billion to buy Twitter, an app, a computer app. I heard, I just got that news today, that within a few hours, he made $1.6 trillion. Within a few hours, $1.6 trillion dollars he doesn't pray he doesn't pay tight he doesn't give offering he's not born again he doesn't believe in your christ one none of your prosperity pastors can even smell it 1.6 trillion dollars within hours not weeks not months not a year within a few hours 1.6 trillion dollars he doesn't know your christ and then you say, I'm coming to church to make money. You'll be, you'll be as broke as broke. Because church is not where we make money. Church is where we know Christ. We make money in the market. We make money in the office. We make money in business places. Am I talking to somebody here? Wake up and pay attention. Don't die poor. Have you listened to what this man of God just told us? Elon Musk, the richest man presently now in the world, is not a born again. He's not a Christian. He does not, he doesn't even know your God. But he's the richest man today. He made over how many trillion, uh, one point something trillion dollars. 
on Twitter alone in the space of hours just because a man applies what we call number six because an idea can be converted into money Christians stop going to church to sleep waiting for what you do not keep go and walk fix yourself somewhere get busy then God can bless what you do stop fooling yourself believing that you will somebody somebody somewhere will send you miracle there are, there are a lot of lies that have, been, that have been told over time you will see a place where a man of God will gather people congregation people will get sense they will begin to pray God I command in the mighty name of Jesus let miracle alert begin to enter people's uh, phone who will send you the miracle alert you will compel their member to donate money by force by fire and what they, what they do not understand is that the people who are giving you money sometimes are giving you what they have their last hope they don't have any other one some of them sometimes go hungry for weeks days just because they have carried all they have to give a man of god man of god that, that have more than enough so many men of God who are preaching pay tight, pay tight. They don't pay tight. Them themselves, they don't pay tight. Who do they pay tight to? That is the problem. Them themselves, they don't pay tight. But if you see them talk about tight, they talk about it as if if you don't pay tight, you are a devil yourself. God in his word said that he will bless the work of our hand. That which your hand have find to do I will bless it. He did not say, I will bless you when you don't get anything to do. There has to be something. Either services, either uh, selling, buying and selling, or you're providing services that God upon which what you do will stand and give you unexpected breakthrough, unimaginable financial level that you don't even imagine it must come through what you provide church is not where we came to make money church is not where we came to make money church is where we come to have clearer understanding about the principle of god and whom god is how to follow god in the spirit and in the truth you see, the, the problem is that you people have been taking advantage of for far too long. And it is it, a high time we we'll get small sense now. These men of God are human beings like you. The so-called men of God. I am not in any way trying to undermine the genuine men of God. No way. God forbid. I won't do that. But the point is that there are so many people who are taking advantage of this office called man of God. Pastors, prophet, apostle. A lot of people have taken advantage of it to commit a lot of havoc, wreck havoc in the society in the name of pastor, in the name of men of God. Make we get sense now. Make we get sense more. We do unimaginable things because our pastor say we should do it without even verifying is that position of God? Is that what God wants you to do as a child of God? We've seen a situation where a woman who does not respect and value her husband in the house is dobaling, is crawling, is lying down, frustrating to greet his pastor. And I'm asking myself, what is the position of a man in a marriage that some women would, ha would have to replace their husband with their pastors, the respect you are ought to give to your husband, you now accord everything to your pastor. And you carry Bible, Bible that you do not even know what he says about marriage. You have not even been careful enough to read the position of God as regard to marriage. God was the one that instituted marriage. But it does not also compel you to transfer the respect that you should have ordinarily give to your husband, to your pastor. That is what I will call a, a misplaced priority. Today we see it. It is a norm going on in our homes 
and some big Jews, mommy Jews and daddy Jews are seeing these things. And what you don't know is that indirectly you're destroying marriages because there are men who cannot take it. By the time the man raises uh, alarm, you will see still be the one. Most of you will still see be the one to support the woman. Sometimes, most pastors, they encourage a divorce. I am not in any way trying to undermine or speak against those genuine men of God. As a matter of fact, God will be your strength. God will give you the resources that you need to preach the genuine gospel of God. Just as he stated in his word that I sent you with nothing, but did you lack anything? Surely you will never lack anything because I know the God that I serve, who is the author, who have also raised the army in his camp to preach the gospel, will never allow you to lack anything. But we must set the record straight. straight. For those who are attacking Dr. Ebel and Damina, should stop it. The man has done no harm. In fact, I thank him for coming up. People, we need more, more, more of his uh, type. People that can come and preach gospel without fear or favor, without bending it. The Bible says, preach my gospel, do not add, do not remove. By the time you utter it, it is no longer the gospel of Christ that you're preaching. You are now preaching your own fabricated one to suit you, to compare your member, to give you money, which God does not appreciate that. Give the word the way God gave it to you. Do not utter it. A lot of people today will arrange message. It will switch to a point where they will sweep their members off their feet just on an account to deceive people and collect their money. But the point is that remember that on a judgment day, you will give account of all your dealings to God, the maker of the universe. That is to you. The so-called prosperity pastors. Thank you very much, viewers. Do remember to follow my page for more updates. Follow us on all our social media platform. Share this video, comment, and uh, like. God will bless you and remain blessed.